Hello guys, and welcome back to another video, and today I'm gonna show you how to hook up a hard drive. Yeah, I'm crazy. A freaking hard drive to a Roku 2. This is a Roku 2, and make sure your Roku 2 has a USB port. It's gonna be located on the right side. Make sure your Roku is powered on and in the home menu. Now the, now the, now the stuff you're gonna need is a hard drive. This is a 160 gigabyte PS3 hard drive that I took out of my old one. Any size up to one terabyte will work. Make sure the hard drive is formatted to FAT32 or it will not work. The Roku even tells you. So download the Roku Media Player, put it to your home screen. And then go into it. Now if you click all. It says when you don't have a USB device inserted, it go down to drive format supported. It supports FAT, FAT 16, 32, NTFS, HFS plus, EXTU slash 3. If you're wondering what this format is, this is Linux, Windows, and I don't know what these two are. But, but that FAT 32 is probably the most common on Mac OS and Linux. NTFS is on... Windows, so this will work on Max, Lin Lin Linux, and Windows. So, so it doesn't matter your operating system. I'm gonna go back home. Now, now the uh, adapter, I would recommend a SATA import to USB 3.0. I'll put a I'll put a link to this in the description. So, so yeah. Now, next thing you're gonna need is a computer with a USB port, which all of them do. Make sure it's at least USB two or three. Either one will work. So, just in this, this is an HP Slimline 290PO P0043W, and I installed Linux on it. This is Ubuntu, but this will work on any distribu distribution Linux. Now. Now you don't have to do this. I use the Mac. I use my iMac to format it. So just plug it in, format it. The Fat32. Put all your files you want on it. Like I put music on this, and then just take it out and put it. In. And then next, once you've done all of that, just uh... also Windows. You can use GUI format the Fat format the Fat32. I'll put a link to that in the description also. So now here on the Roku, now make sure it's like this. You can plug in your hard drive now. Plug into your hard plug in your hard drive to the USB port. Your hard drive is not gonna need external power because the Roku supplies just enough power. Now, if you get a prompt on this uh, USB media launch, I would. Now, if you don't, if you don't want this, if you don't want this, if you want to turn this off, simple. Go to settings. Go to. Go down a little bit. Go to system, USB media, auto launch. You can prompt this if you want. You can, and also, go change the launch channel, but I will change this. I'm going to change it on, but you can turn it off if you want to. Then press the home button. Now, launch Roku media. Your the hard drive will be located right here. And I have Vids Music. Vids has nothing, so. Yeah, not compatible things. Music, it's basically, it's going to take a little bit to load. But this is all of my music. Yeah. And then that's how you use a hard drive on your Roku. Now, this is a bit overkill. And you don't need a hard drive. You can, you can just use a 
16 gig or 32 gig USB flash drive to do that. But I went a bit overkill to put a hard drive in. Now I'm going to be putting videos on here on this hard drive to watch offline. In case, like, you know, the Wi-Fi goes down. But what's the point of that? You know, we have YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime. Jesus. Now that's it for this video. And if you like the video, please, please either lick and subscribe. And I will see you next time. And it's okay to unplug the hard drive. It doesn't damage it. Just don't unplug it while it's writing. And that's it. Bye-bye.